Listen, my first guest tonight is uh, one of the screen's uh, finest actresses. She's been in more than 70 motion pictures. I wonder if even, if any film buff can mention uh, the name of the first movie she was in in America. Now, she has three Academy Award nominations. She's reached the peak of stardom in New York with her Tony interpret winning uh, interpretation of Mame in Mame, and she will be doing summer stock tour of Mame for people who missed it. Will you welcome, please, the beautiful Angela Lansbury. <laughs> You know, when I was introducing you, I was thinking I knew the... I thought I knew the first American film you made, but I may be wrong. Does it... What uh, do you think it was? Does it have uh, four words in the title? Uh, or five? Nope. Does it have the word picture? Nope. Oh, then I'm really wrong. <laughs> You're really wrong. Let's see, who's my next guest? <laughs> uh, I thought it was Picture of Dorian Gray. You know, you asked me this question four years ago. I'm going to answer it correctly now. I could... Are you implying no. that I forgot? No. It's just that, no, you and a lot of people Four are on Four years the, ago? Yeah. Well, and I've I, never met you before. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We'll start all over again. Okay. What was no, it? No, the movie was Gaslight. No, I'm sorry. It was a picture of Dorian oh, Gray. Right. <laughs> What's the difference? It was the picture of Dorian Gray. You have a lot of company. There are like... a great many people who would bet good money that my first movie was the, the, the portrait of Dorian Gray. <laughs> So now I was wrong about picture, portrait, the year, when yeah, you were you here last. Yeah, you got the last. whole thing wrong, and never mind. It's lovely to be here. It's taken me four years to get back. <laughs> <laughs> not as lovely as if I'd gotten some of these things right. Well, <laughs> no, you've been welcome back. Have they been keeping you off this show? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but, <clears throat> well, four years it's taken me. <laughs> I don't know why that is. <laughs> no, I'm pulling your Could leg. Be the f well, you, I was you, too nervous because... I don't know. I admired you very much, and I loved the show, and I, I was very nervous to be on it with you, quite honestly. That's the weirdest thing. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yes. You, yes. Angela Lansbury, afraid of the little fella from the plains. Well, <laughs> you pack a hell of a wallop, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't fool around, sweetheart. No, no. <laughs> uh, I was Humphrey Bogart. Or Dorian Gray. No, Dorian, you were oh, in Dorian Gray, Dorian Gray though. Yeah, you I were was. the young sure, I lady was. in that. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're going to tour. Now. Well, what I'm going to do is kind of exciting. I'm, I'm going to redo MAME, which uh, was a glorious event in my life uh, six years ago. And uh, I've closed in it four years ago, but I'm going to do a summer tour for six weeks. And uh, I open in Camden, New Jersey at the Camden County Music Fair on the 27th of June. Will you be getting to Nebraska? No. <laughs> you won't? No. They I'm never gonna... take theater out where people really need it. You're absolutely dead right. Play Broken Bone, Nebraska. C well, is it too late to rearrange the tour? Well, let me tell you something. A lot of people saw Mame in Broken Limb, Nebraska, or wherever. But I, I wasn't playing the role. Oh, there, but it, it, it did really tour. has been there, yes. Might have played Omaha or something. Yeah. I was playing a different role in a different show. But, I mean, yeah. it has been there. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh-huh. It is, you know, there are people who love theater in other parts of the country, just never see it. And, you know, they'll come down out of the mountains to see it in Denver and, uh, and all, and they really, yeah, really get a absolutely. big kick out of it. Yeah, I'm, absolutely. I'm with you. I mean, you know, The get lunch it seems to there. go all over. All well, over those the were the days of touring when there was no telly, and, uh, I mean, really, yeah. the theater included going on long tours. But mm -hmm. these days, nobody wants to go on long tours. It's too arduous, and there aren't that many theaters, it seems. They seem to have closed them down, or they become movie houses. Yeah. You know. You know what would be fun to do if, if, I'd think it would be fun if there were still trains. I mean, good trains to travel in. Yes. Because it always looks so great. In the old movies, when somebody goes to the coast, mm. they go on a train, which seems hilarious today. Yeah, and they wore traveling uh, clothes, and they really... kind of dressed the part. And it was all yeah. romantic and exciting. It's all part of this great nostalgia we're into at the present of looking back. Have you noticed that? Oh, sure. Oh, uh, we're we're really drowning in nostalgia. Oh, absolutely, up to yeah. here in it. Yeah. And uh, strange, really. I was as guilty as anybody else, but years and years and years ago. I mean, when I was 17, I was worrying about the 30s and wishing that I'd been a, you know, a mm -hmm. big grown-up lady in the 30s. So you're nostalgic for the old nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, going, yeah. I'm going to go way, way back. I mean, people are going back to the 50s, but I'm going to go back to the 1890s any minute. Did you... <laughs> just zoom right back. Oh, absolutely. Did I mean, you... it's too recent, the 50s, for me. When you were that age, did you have any choice what you were going to be in, in life, or were you destined for the theater? 
Well, it seems that I was destined. Um, in spite of myself, I didn't realize I was, but my mother did. She obviously knew that uh, this was my bent, you know, and uh, she gave me that shove. And I'm very glad she did. I often think that parents uh, don't shove enough. And it is very helpful, because I think when you're young, you can sort of flail around, and you don't really quite know where to put your energies, you know. And if somebody tells you, or at least says, well, go in this direction for a while. If it doesn't work, well, throw in the sponge and, you know, go your way. But at least try this. I think this might be for you. Mm -hmm. It is helpful. It was for me. So you don't mind and you don't feel pushed and you don't feel that you had a stage mother? Or oh, never. Stuff. Never, 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 yeah. no. No, my mother was an, an, an extraordinary inspiration to me. Yeah. You know, it was very, I was very lucky in that respect. When you go back to England now, do they think you talk like a, like a Yankee? Sure, they think of me as an American actress, which I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you remember how you spoke when you first came over here? Could you, oh. oh, very well indeed, yes. <laughs> was it like that? Well, um, I, spoke, I spoke with a bit of an English accent. I talked rather like this, you know, like that. Yeah. And a uh, bit of a Cockney accent too, I think, because I was a Londoner. But mm -hmm. um, I lost it, of course, because I have an ear like a parrot and I pick up all kinds of accents that I'm around. So it's you... very useful. If you had lived this long in France, you would have a French accent. Of course. <laughs> Naturally. What else? <laughs> very, very bon. Oh, bon is the word. <laughs> Je pense. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be right back after this message. You have several uh, residences, I, I gather. You probably have one in, one here. And I know you live in the, have one on the West Coast. <laughs> and now you're in Ireland? Part time? Yeah, I have a, a house in Ireland. Yeah. I live there quite a lot of the time, actually. It's as easy to live there as anywhere today. It's very nice. Is it? Mm. Yeah. I enjoy it. Where is it in Ireland? I don't know Ireland. I don't know one uh, Ireland from the other. Well, it's uh, down on the south coast of yeah. Ireland. It's uh, in the county Cork. Yeah. It's uh, what they call a small gentleman's holding, you know? No, I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, it's just sort of a small house on a small piece of land. Yeah. And uh, it's country living at its most. Did you decide to just move there because it would... It would be calm and get you. Um, I always had an ambition to have a house there yeah. all these many years. And uh, I had the opportunity uh, to, to get this house. So, so I bought it. And then the family sort of drifted in after me. And they took to it like ducks to water. And uh, so my kids are there now. And they really dig it. Would you rather have them be there than in Southern California? Yes, I would. <laughs> Southern Cal, I almost said. Right now, yes, I think yeah. so. Yes. Uh, some people are getting a very bizarre image of Southern California because of the, uh, all their articles about cultism and all the strange things going on there. And, uh, I suppose some people think that everywhere you go, there are cauldrons brewing and weird things going well, on. Well, yes, yes. Cauldrons and all kinds of uh, nasties are uh, <laughs> springing yeah. up all over the place. No, it's very serious. I mean, what is happening in, in all big cities, and uh, Los Angeles is certainly no exception. And uh, my kids were born and brought up there. And mm -hmm. uh, it proved to be too much for them. So we moved to Ireland. You really wanted to get them out. Yes. Yeah. But I didn't get them out. I mean, they opted out. They decided that uh, they'd get out. So they did. Ah. And uh, they live in the country now. Am I prying into an area you don't want no, to talk about? No, not at all. I didn't mean no, to no, not at all. No, absolutely not. Yeah. No. no, I'm very here. Uh, um, I, I, I must be frank on that score because uh, uh, Los Angeles just was, was not the right uh, climate for uh, my kids. I mean, they uh, just fell into a lot of traps that a lot of young people fall into. Yeah. And uh, they had to get out, so they did. Would you advise that for most uh, parents whose kids are in, in, in trouble? Or of course I would advise it, it but my gosh, how many of us how many can do it, can you know? It. Where can you go? Yeah. Where can you go? So, uh, but if you, if you do know a spot, by golly, go there, you know. Yeah. Change of scene therapy. Absolutely, totally. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, so uh, I'm very grateful that there was that place. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the, uh, the, we have a small film clip uh, from mm. a film you've done. Oh Thank yeah, so gay, that. giddy, uh, Topics, uh, bed knobs and broomsticks. A delightful movie for everyone. And uh, uh, I play a witch. I wish I could have uh, 
pulled off a few more spells and uh, cast a little more magic around uh, in life, as I was able to do on the screen. <laughs> but it's kind of a, a, a sweet That's movie. Sweet. Did you? Yeah. You probably didn't see it, but no. um, it's, uh, it's a doozy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I think, it's, I think the clip you have is the one in which I'm uh, uh, performing a large spell with a lot of noise and clatter and All right. sort of general carry on. It's sort of fun. Take a look at that. <laughs> OK. Here we are. Silent movie. It's one of the few silent movies I've seen made in the last uh, <laughs> two years. <laughs> what a wonderful throwback to the old days. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I wanted to live life backwards for a while. <laughs> That's really getting nostalgic. Yeah. At the moment, to be frank with you, we don't know here in the studio whether you heard the sound on that or not. If you did, congratulations. We missed it. <laughs> Our local stations have a message and we'll be back.